Hey guys, we're looking at Neo stock. It's the 2nd of December 2024, coming up to 25 minutes past 10 p.m. And let's look at the chart, guys. We're looking at Neo stock 440. It closed at $4.40. Let's look at the chart. And here we're looking at the 10 minute chart going to squeeze that 10 minute chart as you can see um, after market let's just put it update the chart put it on a one hour and oh, it's not updated properly let's put it on a one day <coughs> it's a second updated now it's a second it went as high as 462 462 and as low as 434 and on the 27th <clears throat> it went that was the lowest it had been 425 for a long time well before the 770 pump before it was a 770, it was lower, but there 425 was on the 27th. And today, the 2nd December, as I said, highest. It actually climbed on the open, reached 462, and it's closed 442, but failed to as low as 435. So more or less flat for well from the previous trading day, 29th of November, more or less sideways, but it did actually go up a bit. So you got that diagonal from from the 27th, you got that diagonal right going up as you can see. I don't know if you can see it there, but <clears throat> you see it, you see it making higher highs, although ending obviously not not in that range, but making higher highs. So you've got this diagonal, you know. So it is kind of recovering. You could say that's the bottom. But the purpose of this video about Neo stock is that it's still possible that a stock could crash right before it goes higher um coming up to end of 2024 but also in the first part the first when i say the first part i mean you know the first month or two in 2025 there could be basically there could be a crash not per se for you know solely for neo stock but general crush in the markets right that obviously could <clears throat> or probably would affect neo so the thing is guys that that's like not financial advice right for me it's not worth buying more at this stage because I it's not low enough to you know to um, lower my average. I've got some on another account. <clears throat> Excuse me, at a lower price. So as I say, it's not low enough for me to buy. But for some of you, it's probably a good price. Like today, you know what it failed to. And I think it's gone into pre-market uh, after after hours trading. Let's just let's just update the chart with um, a five-minute chart here. Yeah, no, this is not updated. I don't know why on this. For some reason, it's not not updating on this uh, platform. Sorry, the update updated to six p.m some reason <clears throat> so yeah 
this is on the four hour you see it's only in the four hour it's not even updating so you've got to really put it on the day chart on this for it to update up to the right date on the second but as i was saying it's not low enough um for me to buy but for some of you especially if you bought in at a higher price like seven eight nine ten dollars etc <clears throat> then probably it is a good price you know to buy more but not not for me not at this stage but getting back to what i was saying about the stock could crash neo could crash neo stock could crash that is a, a possibility before it goes up because You've got prices super high on the, on, the, on in general on a lot of you know stock markets and you've got uncertainty there's a lot of uncertainty and when they start talking about trade when they start, start talking about tariffs that's how the big crash occurred you know right in in the um you know the great depression leading to the great depression right because it causes hyperinflation and people want money, they withdraw, they sell stocks, they lose confidence, right? They sell stocks, they want money, everything's expensive. And um, <clears throat> so this could, this could occur again, this could occur again. And maybe this is what they want, right? Because they know They've modelled it, right? They know how to crash markets and they know how to pump markets. And maybe this is what they want to crash markets, right? That's why they're talking about tariffs, 100% tariffs, right? They don't want a free, you know, free market, fair market, free market. They want a fair market their way, right? So, you know, <clears throat> they want to be like isolated from the world and you know if like neo if chinese evs can build vehicles even better vehicles by the way cheaper and import them that's not they don't want that you see but at the same time they can't find a way around it they can't allow it in and still earn money from it because they're not they're not intelligent enough to do that. So they resort to talking about tariffs, you know, 100% tariffs. Because if you were smart, right, if you was really smart, proper, then you would find a way to make money from it, from allowing, you know, Chinese EVs, for example. Not, well, not just China, not just that sector. Overall, any, any products and services from China and not just China, you know, <clears throat> all other countries, etc. But you'd you'd find a way to profit from it, right? You would allow it, but find a way to profit from it. You wouldn't just shut the door on it and say, right, yeah, hundred percent tariffs, etc. Because that's not smart, right? Because it's gonna damage your own, you know, your own um your own economy, your own it's going to drive up prices but you know obviously they know better right they know they know best or at least they think they do so we've got to see how it pans out um as i say it's not just ev sector it's in general all the countries they basically they don't like you know and they don't like it for a reason, for different reasons, different countries, different reasons. So how does it affect Neo? Neo? Well, Neo is still expanding in China, right? We know that. And obviously they've gone into other countries or planning to go into other countries. You see, Neo is smart, right? Because they partnered in Azerbaijan, they've partnered with dealerships, right? So that could pan out, that could play out 
in other countries as well, like even in the US, like if they partner with dealerships and dealerships, you know, import those vehicles, it's possible Neo, Neo vehicles could get in the US that way, right? But certainly Neo are still expanding in China. We know that. And <clears throat> there's still a way to go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to still take, what, another year at least for the battery swap technology, battery swap stations to, you know, be set up, all of them, right? In China. Then you're talking about at least another two years to get up to up to speed like up to sales you know to for sales to increase for deliveries like you know to to increase a lot and then for to get reorders you've got to be looking at around about five years because a lot of vehicles bought like the people that own them vehicles they keep for longer it's not like a lease they get rid of them every three years or every four years or whatever. So to get reorders, going to you know for the for the basically for numbers to really surge, you probably see that five, six, seven years time, right? Because you so they're going to Neo are going to sell all those vehicles and then get reorders. They're going to get lots of reorders when people want to change the vehicles you know for newer models so i think that neo are not really bothered about trade you know us trade wars etc and all this they're not really bothered because they're they're still in china right they're still expanding in china and that's the point um that's the point. So it's looking good at the moment for Neo, but obviously Neo are, you know, um, exposed to to what happens, you know, on, on the US stock markets. You know, they're exposed to that, obviously listed on the US stock market. So that's always something you've got to think about in the back of your mind or even on the forefront of your mind that it could happen, right? Stock market crash could happen. I mean, you saw it happen in 2024, still this year, but Neo escaped it. If you recall, I think it was back in July. I think it was back in July. It was around here. I think it was here when it fell, maybe August, July, August kind of escaped it, right? The price went down, but then what happened? It shut up. It rose all that way. So I don't think it's something to be worried about because you see that after that mini stock market crash of 2024 here, I believe it was here, then you see what happened. It rocketed, right? So that says that that should tell you that it can recover. It can recover, right? So, also, um, because you know sales are occurring. Look, if, if 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 inflation increases in the US, it doesn't mean it's going to increase in China, right? And that's where most of the neo sales are in China. So, in that respect, neo is still going to be selling vehicles where the US. If it hurts the US pocket, right, then people are going to not be buying um, new vehicles, right, like Teslas, etc. So it's not only going to hurt the people in the US, these tariffs, etc. It's going to hurt, you know, car manufacturers, including Tesla. So... 
that situation, um, there's a crash coming. Of course, there's always a crash coming. You can't say there's no crash coming. You just don't know when. And just looking at the chart, trying to see if there's any setup here. We had this cut pattern forming, which it didn't rise to. It formed it, it fell lower, forming another pattern here, another sort of cut. It could spring up from there. It could still, you know, spring up um, in 2024. But even if, even if it does spring up, let's say it went to eight, nine dollars, it's still prone to a crash before going, you know, before going higher. And that's the thing. It's still prone to a possible crash before going higher. But as I say, like a crash might, may not affect it. It might may bring the price down like it did. You see, in, you, you saw in August because it was rising, as you see there, it was going up. Right, you see it clear, and then it came down. But then after it came down, it sprung up. Right. So same thing can happen. So in that respect, it could affect Neo in the short term. Right, but the price could kind of, you know, bounce. It could go up a lot um, again in the short term, and then maybe come down again. But as you see, even though it's came, even though the price came down, it's still higher than where it was. Right, because look, it was averaging around about four dollars. Sometimes it went high as four fifteen, and obviously it was a, it was lows of. 370 but where it is now 440 say you know where it is now 440 is a lot higher than down here where it was so the price is actually rising right if you look on like you know if you look at it in that respect the price is actually rising from where it fell as i say from the lows and you see it here also when it reached 360 down here back in April 2024. It done the same thing, like it shot up, obviously not as high as 770, but it shot up to six dollars, and then from six dollars fell all the way back down, right? As you see here, fell back down to around 360. Well, not as not as low, just slightly higher, around about 363. But on the on the whole mostly it was even when it reached that low point neo stopped there 360 365 it was like recovering it was like diagonal right going up obviously that was the crash there can't can't help that you know can't avoid it but despite that august you know um stock market crash mini mini crash correction or whatever and it sprung all the way up like it did here, back here, but it sprung higher. So therefore it's making higher highs, right? And now we're seeing the same thing. We're seeing the stock fall. And I'm not saying it'll go back down to 360. It doesn't necessarily need to, right? Uh, but even if it did, right? It's probably, if it, if it went down to 360, it will probably bounce higher than 770. Right, but don't necessarily mean it's going to go down to you know this level like three sixty three seventy. It's held off thus far, right? You've got what maybe fifteen trading days, fourteen trading days from where it kind of went down here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's eleven trading days so far from here. Right, eleven trading days from here, it's held held its ground. Right, it hasn't hasn't fallen to three seventy. So maybe this is the new level. Right, this is the new level. You know, four twenty six. We could say is a new level, which is fifty six cents higher than three seventy down here. So it is possible this is the new level now, and. It, won't make um any lower 
moves. And also you see this recovery here, diagonal right again, as it was doing here, and then got bashed down, as it got bashed down here. So you could be now due for a surge up based on, that's the good news, based on the pattern that is forming. It could be like a similar situation here where it was going up and then obviously got bashed down here then going up diagonal as you see it and then got bashed down again like it did here i don't know if you can see that right you see what i'm talking about like it was going up got bashed down that was in a mini stock market crash in august and then basically sprung up so we see the same thing here look it was going up diagonal right neo stock got bashed down which is exactly what happened here got bashed down and then does it go to the moon right is it is it the right time to go to the moon when i say go to the moon obviously above six dollars six dollars seven seventy eight nine ten dollars and then see what happens from there is it is it time it kind of like looks like the same or similar setup right it looks like the similar setup exactly if you if you look at it right it is like more or less the same setup like because look look if you look at it right you've got you've got three re three green days there right followed by three red days and if you look at it here look three green days they're all like diagonal right same here diagonal right then followed by three red days here which you've got here and then it goes green red so green red and then it goes to the moon so technically like if this was going to repeat this pattern then tomorrow would be going to the moon right which is the third third of december it should be going to the moon if it was going to repeat exactly based on trading days you know green and red green and red trading days but even if it don't exactly re replicate um tomorrow on the third it could still go to the moon uh, when i say to the moon i mean above six dollars you know six seven dollars in that in that range around about i'm just under ten dollars right it's still possible that the neo stock could take off right so that's the point i'm, I'm making so in the sense of this video when i say crash before taking off we're more or less in a crash now right so it could take off and or it, it could neo stock could be exposed to you know to a stock market crash and then take off again but let's see how it pans out guys but it is possible it could take off tomorrow right if not tomorrow this month december before 2024 i think it will surprise many